Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when the game is not launching on your Windows computer. Now, the first step is to rename or delete this file. Now for this, you can go to the game installation folder, make a right click on the game, select manage, now click on browse local files. This will take you to the game inst installation folder, open runtime folder, open media folder. Now over here, you can see this NV ngx underscore dlss dot dll you also have this dlss g dot dll not this one only this one so first of all create a backup for this file copy this and then paste it to the desktop just create a backup so once you have a backup now you can make changes so you can just make a right click on this file and then you can rename it as dot old and then you can launch the game and then check still not working you can even delete this file you can make a right click and then you can delete it once this is deleted now you can launch the game if you face any problem because of this file missing in that case you you have a backup so you can whenever you want you can just copy it and whenever you want you can paste it to this location so you can rename or delete this file and then launch the game and then check this has worked for many players so it might work for you next step is to turn off dlss and frame generation in graphics.ini file now for this you can open file explorer and then go to this pc open c drive now open users folder now open your username folder now open app data if you don't see app data at the top click on view select show put a check on hidden items and then open app data folder now open the roaming folder and over here you can see sega folder open this folder open the game folder and open the steam folder and over here you can see graphics file open this and then scroll down over here you can see upscaler you can change the value to zero and here you can see frame generation you can select the you can change the value to zero and you can go to file and then click on save you can even change DLSS quality to zero, uh, but upscaler will disable the, when you put the zero value, it will disable DLSS. So put upscaler and frame generation to zero and then go to file and then click on save. Now you can launch the game and then check. Still not working, then rename or delete the config file. So for this, you can just create a, go back over here go to this location and once you go to this location you can just create a backup first for this folder and paste it to the desktop once you have a backup now you can rename it or you maybe you can simply delete this folder so dot old and then you can launch the game and then check if that does not work you can even delete this folder and then you can launch the game you have a backup so no need to worry whenever you want to put it back you can put it back now the next step is to uninstall nvidia app now this has also worked for many players so it might work for you so you can just type in control panel in windows search box go to control panel uninstall program and find nvidia app in the list so here you can see nvidia app you can make a right click on nvidia app and then click on uninstall click on yes to allow and uninstall it now once the uninstall is complete restart your computer and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check next step is to try dx11 or dx12 in launch options so you can make a right click on the game select properties go to launch option over here under general tab and then type in dash dx11 and then you can launch the game and then check still not working then make a right click once again go to properties this time type in dash dx12 and then you can launch the game and then check still not working you can remove this and then follow the next step now the next step is to turn off hardware accelerated gpu scheduling in windows settings so you can just type in this and then you can go to graphics settings over here so you can go to system and then you can go to display and then you can go to graphics here you can see graphics click on graphics and advanced graphics settings you can click on this down arrow and over here you can see hardware accelerated gps scheduling if this is on you can turn this off and then launch the game this has also worked for few players so it might work for you next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i am showing for 
NVIDIA. So to perform a clean installation, go to NVIDIA website and then select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system. So if you have Windows 11, select Windows 11. If you have Windows 10, select Windows 10 and then click on find. And once you click on find, you will see this page. Now here you will find the latest GeForce game ready driver. Now click on view. And then once you click on view, you will see the download option. Click on download and let the download complete. Now, once the download is complete, run the exe file. Now, once you run the exe file, you will see this screen. Click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here. By default, express would be selected. Select custom and then click on next and then you will see this screen. Now, put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. Make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete. Once the installation is complete, restart your computer and after the system restart, launch the game. AMD card users can go to AMD web. First of all, uninstall the current version of graphic card driver and then restart your computer and then go to AMD website and then select your graphic card. Once you select your graphic card, your operating system, now install the latest uh, graphic card driver and then restart your computer and then launch the game. Next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this, you can type in graphics settings in Windows search box and then go to graphics settings. And then click on add a desktop app and then go to the game installation folder. So in my case, the game is installed in this location. So go to the game installation folder, open the game folder, open the runtime folder, open the media folder and select all the exe files. So here you can see the game exe file. You can select it, then click on add once the game is added now scroll down and find the game in the list once you find the game click on the game and over here you can select high performance and then scroll up again click on add desktop app you can select this exe file click on add and then find the game in the list once you find the game click on it and then select high performance now you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder. So you can make a right click on the game, select manage, now click on browse local files. It will take you to the game installation folder, open runtime media, and then select the game exe file, make a right click, go to properties, go to this tab, put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, hit apply, click on OK, make a double click, launch the game and then check. If that does not work, again go to properties and go to this tab, and put a check over here, select Windows 8, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. Still not working, then go to properties and then put a check on disable full screen optimization. Uh, first of all, try Windows 7. Windows 7, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. If that does not work, then you can try disable full screen optimization. Hit apply, click on OK and launch the game. Still not working, you can do the same thing with this exe file. Still not working, then when you put a check on all these boxes so if it's not if it's not working you can uncheck these boxes hit apply click on ok and then follow the next step do the same thing with this exe file now the next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus like avast not on bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have allow the game exe file to your antivirus program now if you're using windows security then open windows settings Go to privacy and security in Windows 11. In Windows 10, click on update and security. Then click on Windows security. And then click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the bottom, you will see manage ransomware protection. Click on it. Now click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow. Click on add an allowed app. Click on browse all apps. Now go to the game installation folder. So open the game folder. And then select the game exe file. Click on open. Again, click on add an allowed app, browse all apps and then select the second exe file click on open now type in control panel in windows search box go to control panel and then go to system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings at the top click on allow another app click on browse and then again go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder and then select all the exe file click on open click on add once the game is added, again click on allow another app, click on browse and then select the second exe file and then click on open, click on add. Now once the game is added, now you can 
launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to verify the game files to verify the game files you can go to steam make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files once the verification is 100 percent complete launch the game and then check now the next step is to now the next step is to roll back graphics driver so to roll back graphics driver you can go to nvidia website or amd website and once you go to the website now select your graphic card in the list and then select your operating system click on click on find and then over here uh, you can click on view more version and the latest one game ready driver is 572.42 uh, you can try this one 566.36 or maybe you can try older version so try to roll back graphic driver but when you install the old graphic card driver download it run the exe file but during the installation make sure that you put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation then restart your computer and then launch the game now the next step is to install visual c++ file now for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website you will see visual studio 2015 17 19 and 22 you have to download x86 and x64 download both the exe file click on it and then you can run this exe file now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see install button click on install download this x64 file as well again run this exe file now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see install button hit install and let the installation complete make sure both are installed once installed you can close this and then restart your computer restart is a must after this and after the system restart launch the game and then check next step is to amd users you can install this amd optional update now you can just in google search you can just type in this update amd update 25.1.1 and then go to amd website scroll down over here you can see the optional update click on it and then you can once the download is complete you can run this exe file install it and then restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game and then check next step is to close all the overclocking application like if you have msi afterburner revert tuner or any kind of overclocking application running close it so here you can see in my case msi afterburner you can make a right click and then you can close this if you have revert tuner running you make a right click close it or if you have any other overclocking application close it also if you have undervolted your computer remove the undervolt disable steam overlay now for this you can go to steam make a right click on the game select properties and then turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game also if you have discord running you can turn on turn off overlay in discord you can if you have nvidia app you can go to nvidia app and then go to settings and turn off in game nvidia overlay so or you can simply close all the overlay application and then launch the game also if you have any kind of razor peripheral software running close it uh, if you have this if you're using if you have md card then in that case if you're using this adrenaline app you can go to the app and then disable amd fluid motion frames 2 so in the app you can here you can see amd fluid motion frames 2 if this is enabled you can disable it and then launch the game the next step is to try automatically manage paging file now for this you can type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced settings and then click on click on the first settings then go to advanced tab and then click on change and then Put a check on the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives and then you can click on ok and then apply ok apply ok and then if restart your computer and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check still not working type in view advanced system settings once again and then click on the first settings advanced tab change uncheck this box and then select your drive where the game is installed and then select the option which says system manage size and then click on set and then click on ok it will be asking you to restart your computer so hit apply click on ok apply ok and then you will see a restart option restart your computer and then launch the game still not working then increase the virtual memory 
So to increase the virtual memory, type in view advanced system settings in window search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive. So uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives. Uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed. So select the drive and then once you select the right drive, now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total RAM. So you can check the total RAM in Windows settings. You can go to system and then go to about and total RAM in my case is 16 gigabyte. So you can calculate accordingly. In my case it's 16 GB. So I will calculate as per 16 GB. So and first of all we have to convert 16 GB into megabyte. So we will open calculator. So type in calculator in run box and then click on OK. And over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total RAM. Total RAM in my case it's 16 RAM 16 GB. So 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 GB is equal to 1024 megabyte. So 16 GB in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total RAM. This is my total RAM in megabyte. Now 1.5 into total RAM total RAM that is into 1.5. So in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total RAM. Now total RAM in my case that is 16 gigabyte. I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So 16 into 1024. I have converted this in megabyte. Megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into 3. That is 49152 49152 49152 Now click on set over here. Then click on OK. OK. Apply. OK. OK. Now restart computer. Make sure that you restart the computer after this. Now the next step is to update the system BIOS. So go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number, make sure that you select your computer and then update your system BIOS. Now in case of laptop, make sure battery on your computer is more than 10% and the AC adapter is connected to the computer when you update the system BIOS. After the BIOS update, log into the computer and then launch the game. Next step is to update Windows to the latest version. This is important. So go to Windows update or update and security and then click on check for update. Once all the updates are installed over here, then restart your computer. And after the system restart, launch the game. Make sure that your Windows is up to date to the latest version. Right now, if you type in WinWare over here, the latest version right now is version 2.4H2. So make sure that your Windows is up to date and then launch the game. Now, if nothing is working, now the next step is to unplug all the external devices. So if you have Hotas, wheel, pedals, any kind of additional, like any kind of USB adapter connected, disconnected, which you're not using. Disconnect additional controller. Sometimes we have extra controller connected, disconnected. Disconnect multiple monitor. Try launching the game on single monitor. If you have any third party application or services running, close it and then launch the game. The last step is to uninstall the game, uninstall and reinstall the game to different drive. So if nothing is working, you can just make a right click on the game, select manage, click on uninstall. Now after the uninstall, go to the game installation folder and then delete the game folder and then restart the computer and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to any external drive like D drive, F drive, any external drive or so if you have, if you install the game to any D drive or F drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, then try to install the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run the game successfully on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.